Hi, I'm Janet Ingle, the five minute read maker. If you're watching this on YouTube, will you go ahead and click subscribe for me? And that way um, you will always know when I drop a new episode and it will make it easier for other people to find my channel and learn about read making and oboe playing and feel like and be better humans. So it's a really a win win. Um, I want to talk today about vibrato, and actually I want to talk about the relationship between reeds and vibrato. This was a request from Trevor, and when I got this request, which reads, some reeds, why some reeds seem to take it better than others, seem to take vibrato better than others. Some like to sing and some don't. And my first reaction when I read that was, really? Because I feel like I can make vibrato on just about every read, so I brought it up as a discussion topic in Read Club. Um, and we chatted about it a while, and yeah, we, we came up with some ideas. So in this video, I have two sort of abstract philosophical ideas about why some reads might not accept vibrato very well. And then I have one concrete example, because sure enough, as I was practicing yesterday, I was like, this read really doesn't want to give me vibrato. It's playing fine, but it's not really concrete. So I've got a hypothesis about how to fix that read, and we'll see if it works. My two thoughts around why a read would be, would resist vibrato are sometimes the read is just too stable. Um, and how funny, right, to think that a read could be too stable. Um, but specifically, I'm talking about that region uh, within the long tip. This read has a long tip. Um, the region within the tip that is, is uh, sort of the invisible two-dimensional slope, where like it looks like the tip is all thin all the way through, but when you backlight it, you can see that there's a lot of structure in the middle of the tip. And we want that, right? That is a thing that we want that that provides stability for us. It provides a uh, good sound quality. It hold, helps to hold the reed open. All of that is good, but you can have too much of it because the opposite of stability is not necessarily instability. It's flexibility. And when the reed is too stable, doesn't allow you to uh, adjust pitch easily with your uh, embouchure or with your air, um, maybe that reed is also going to resist the surges of air, the uh, intense back and forth between pushing and relaxing that is vibrato at its essence. Um, so that was my first thought. A reed that is too stable might not give you the, the quality of flexible singing vibrato that you want. And my opposite idea is that a reed that is too flexible, on the other hand, is one that you might feel like you need to hold on to really tightly, right? When your reed is unstable, is uh, flabby or flarp sounding, um, you're always managing that read with your mouth. And maybe the intensity of your management of that read um, can prevent you from getting to uh, a good quality singing vibrato because the opposite of might be right. If you're holding on too tightly, there's no way for the read to do that thing that you want it to do, um, especially as you get tired playing on that more flexible, that too flexible read. So those were my two most immediate thoughts around why a read might not accept your vibrato in the way that you want it to. Um, and then I had this read, which I do think is a little bit on the too stable side and which I do think has too long a tip. And my hypothesis is that these are the problems with the read. So I'm gonna turn my camera around and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's this read and it's my read, right? It's one that I'm, I was in fact practicing on and playing on yesterday and it looks totally fine. It looks like a read, I'm trying to find my focus here. It is a little bit long because I can be careless about a long tip. Um, so although it has appropriate 
uh, measurements um, with the regards to the gutter and the bottom of the heart. Um, my overall length is right around 71, which is a little long for me. And I think I can get a backlight here on this screen a little bit. You can see, I hope, and I'm looking for focus and I'm looking for the backlight. This is not my best filmography work, but I think you can see, I hope you can see, that uh, there's quite a lot of sort of snow on the rooftop. Um, pop a plaque in. To where, even though as I press, you can see that the corners of the tip are the thinnest part, it's definitely got a lot of bulk in the center of the tip. And here's how it plays. It's got a crow that's a little bit high, a little bit stifled, but it's okay. It's okay, it's a little bit sharp, it's a little bit um, eh, stuffy, and I can make it vibrate, because I'm a professional. But that vibrato doesn't feel as natural, as singing, as effortless as I am used to and as I want. And my hypothesis is that I've just got too much stability in this reed. It's being held back by the snow on the rooftop. And really what I want is to get this tip to be thinner and shorter. So... I'm going to start with the thing I always do, right? I'm going to go to the gutter of the rooftop and just sort of pet the kitty on the way up because it's never the wrong idea to take more off of the side and the sides and corner of the tip. Wow, as I'm looking at this, and remember, this is my read. So I'm criticizing only myself here. Um, I can see the rooftop really clearly on the right side, also where I just scraped. But over here, I can see like the line of my intended rooftop and also this giant blob of thickness right above it. So I'll clean that up. And let me see if doing just that, thinning the tip a little bit, made a difference or if we have destabilized too much. Well, definitely I feel easier vibration, but I have destabilized the reed a little bit. It's crowing a B now rather than a C. Um, and it feels just a little bit, it feels tippy. Like I still don't have, I actually still don't have the full flexibility that I want. It still seems a little bit shallow. Play it one more time. And that combination of it's, uh, it feels tippy and it feels uh, shallow, like I can't really find my pitch floor, that feels like a long tip problem to me. I have another video out somewhere, the fallacy of the long tip, that you might find interesting. So just a quick clip to bring the crow up, and I'm probably going to go in and scrape in the transition again. I like that crow better, it just feels meatier. So my reed feels more stable. I can more easily reach down to the pitch floor, but um, I still don't really have the the quality of vibrato that I want. And you can see as my as I plaque test, I've still got a lot of bulk in the middle of the tip. So I'm just going to go again and do sort of a very mini version of my scoop and curl, just scoop really. 
And I'm thinking about this transition between the heart and the tip, looking for um, a steeper skateboard ramp than I had before. I really hate this left side. I don't know why it won't. There we go. Oh yeah. Just cut a notch, I'm fixing it. Okay. I don't know what I think about that yet. Well, I know exactly what I think about that. That reed has more vibrancy, it has more flexibility, and it has more vibrato capability than it did before. And I found all of that in the transition. You, um, other than cleaning up the little notch I cut, I didn't, I haven't scraped anything below the rooftop of this reed. I'm much happier now. Let's see. We'll see if I can get a backlight. Ooh, there it is. You can still see that there's a little bit of uh, thickness in the middle of the tip, which there should be, but the corners and the sides are much more clear of it, and the transition area... Oh yeah, there's my focus. is much cleaner. And this reed has better vibrato, and I have clipped it a few times, so I'm hoping it's much more like a length I would want. It's still a little bit long, honestly, but I don't clip a reed to length, I clip a reed to function. And this guy's functioning really well. So I am done with this. I hope that this has felt helpful. The question itself, why do some reeds you play well with vibrato and some reads don't, um, was one that I hadn't considered before. But I did improve the vibrato situation on this read by cleaning out the transition and making sure that I had good vibration between the tip and into the heart. And I thought about all of this in terms of stability versus flexibility. This has been a five minute read maker episode. You can watch these short videos on YouTube. You can subscribe if you wish. Uh, and if you want to get in touch with me to buy reads or cane, to ask me a question that I might answer in a future five minute read maker episode, you can find me uh, at JanetIngle.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.